Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Nursing Research and Statistics question paper for post basic BSc nursing students second year. This question paper was taken from Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences, Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh in the year August 2021. Before moving on to the question paper, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Already I have posted many videos related to nursing as well as BSc Nursing and Post Basic BSc Nursing question papers. If you have not watched those videos, you can watch our channel playlist for more videos. Let's move on to the question paper. The question paper code is 1629 Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences, Andhra Pradesh, Vijayawada, B.Sc. Nursing Degree Examinations, August 2021, Second Year Examination, 2YDC, Post Basic, Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research, sorry, Introduction to Nursing Research and Statistics. The maximum marks allotted is 75 marks and the time allotted is 3 hours. The general instructions are no in note they have given answer part A separately and part B separately in two separate answer books. Questions in part A should not be answered in part B and questions in part B should not be answered in part A. If you are going to answer part A in part B and part B in part A, the answers will not be evaluated. So part A answers you have to write in separate booklet and part B you have to write in separate answer booklet. So here the part A is for 50 marks and part B is for 25 marks. So in part A you have research which is for 50 marks and in part B you have statistics which is for 25 marks. So let's see what are all the questions they have given in part A. That is write an essay on any two of the following. So here um, they will be giving three questions in essay out of those three questions you have to answer only two. So 2 into 10 is equal to 20 marks. So let's see what are all the questions they have asked. So first is describe the characteristics of descriptive research design. First question describe the characteristics of descriptive research design. Second question explain the major steps in doing a literature review. Second question explain the major steps in doing a literature review. Third question, define research, explain the need for nursing research. Third question is, define research, explain the need for nursing research. Next, write short notes on any four of the following. Here they will be giving six short notes. Out of those six short notes, you have to answer only four short notes. 4 into 5 is equal to 20 marks. So let's see what are all the questions they have given in short notes. Fourth question is ethical problems in nursing research. Fourth question ethical problems in nursing research. Fifth question survey research. Fifth question survey research. Sixth question eligibility criteria. Sixth question eligibility criteria seventh question experimental research design seventh question experimental research design eighth question principles of writing research report eighth question principles of writing research report ninth question hypothesis ninth question hypothesis I repeat, out of these six questions, you have to answer only four. 
Next is brief answers. Brief answers is for two marks. So they will be giving five brief answers. You have to answer all the five. Each question carries two marks. Five into two is equal to ten marks. So let's see what they have asked in brief answers. So first is define generalizability. Tenth question is define generalizability. Eleventh question define Convenience sampling. Eleventh question. Define convenience sampling. Twelfth question. Define validity. Twelfth question. Define validity. Thirteenth question. Define questionnaire. Thirteenth question. Define questionnaire. Fourteenth question. Define research objectives. Fourteenth question. Define research objectives. So these are all the questions which they have answer asked in nursing research. Next, moving on to part B, which is for twenty five marks. So in part B, write an essay on any one of the following. So here, one into nine is equal to nine marks. So they will be giving two questions. Out of those two questions, answer any one question. So fifteenth question is explain the statistical package available for statistical analysis and their application. I repeat the fifteenth question: explain the statistical packages available for statistical analysis and their application. See, we have posted statistical packages in nursing research um, and statistics detail in our channel playlist B.Sc. Nursing fourth year nursing research and statistics. So you can watch our channel playlist. Or also, I have given the link for the statistical packages in the end card as well as suggested icons and in description box. You can watch it. Sixteenth question. Compute Carl Pearson correlation of coefficient for the following data. This Carl Pearson correlation of coefficient also I have posted in in our nursing research and statistics related videos. You can watch it and you can uh, see how to do the calculation also. So one uh, kind request to the students. I have seen many students uh, have not answered the statistics related uh, questions. Correctly. So, if you are confident enough in sums, you can do it. Otherwise, better you can go to theory part. So, if you are not confident, you leave this sum and choice, and you can write the theory that is statistical packages like that. In essay question, always they used to give one sum and uh, one uh, theory part question. So, better because all students are doing it very wrongly except a few. Okay, we can hand pick them. So if you are really confident enough in doing the sums, you do it. So if you want to become confident in uh, sums means, you can watch our channel playlist very simply and detailly. We have uh, given how to calculate mean, median, standard deviation, variance, range and uh, call Pearson's correlation of coefficient because these only we repeatedly they are asking mainly mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance and call Pearson coefficient of correlation only they are asking in sums so you can watch our channel playlist that is statistical we have posted uh, in that unit we have posted many parts so which will be very useful for you uh, in doing the uh, sums so out of these two questions you can answer only uh, one question so uh, i repeat compute call pearson correlation of coefficient for the following data so they have given weight in kg that is 60 kg 70 kg 80 kg 90 kg and cholesterol in milligram per deciliter that is for 60 120 for 70 130 and for 80 140 and for 90 it is uh, 150 um, Next is write short notes on any two of the following. So here this is 5 mark question. 2 into 5 how much it is 10 marks. So that essay question is for 9 marks. And this short notes that is out of those 4 questions you have to answer only 2. 2 into 5 is 10 marks. So what is parts of your table. So 17th question is parts of your table. 18th question type 1 error. 19th question limitations of graphic presentation. 20th question histogram. So 17th question is parts of your table. 18th question type 1 error 19th question limitations of graphic presentation 20th question histogram so all these also we have 
everything 95 percent of the subject nursing research and statistics we have posted so it is more or less the syllabus is same for bsc nursing and post basic bsc nursing student so for all nursing research related videos and statistical related videos i am repeatedly telling the playlist link i have given in the description box you can watch go and watch it so definitely we have given in a simple manner to score good marks uh, with regard to nursing research and statistics uh. next is Mm, write brief answers of the following so under this uh, um, defined standardized death rate so this comes under uh, vital statistics okay so define standardized death rate uh, 22 is defined median 23 is defined cumulative frequency curve so all these um, uh, three answers you have to answer there is no choice for you so 3 into 2 is equal to uh, 6 marks so 21st question is define standardized death rate 22nd question is define median 23rd question is define cumulative frequency curve so hope this video is clear for you all this question paper is useful for both bsc nursing students and post basic bsc nursing students because the syllabus is more or less same so the same questions can be repeated for bsc also okay so if you are comparing the question papers also for bsc sometimes they will be asking in bsc and sometimes they will be asking in post basic so even uh, bsc nursing students also can refer this question paper and similarly i have posted for bsc nursing students uh, research and statistics that also post basic bsc nursing students can refer hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box as well as in the suggested i cards as end cards if you have not watched it please go and watch it repeatedly i am saying we have very wonderful uh, lectures for bsc nursing research and statistics statistics has been made very 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 simple if you are going to follow all those uh, videos definitely you can take notes uh, and uh, you can score very good marks so once if you uh, wish you can go and watch it and you can post your comments in the comment section thank you friends keep support to science easy tech channel